Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Matilda stars Sam Kerr and Hayley Rasso have just been nominated for one of football's most prestigious awards. Here's Josh to fill you in. Even well after the wrap-up of the Women's World Cup, the Matildas can't seem to stop making history because two of our golden girls, Sam Kerr and Hayley Rasso, have just made the shortlist for this year's Ballon d'Or. This is so cool! No, it's not the Balloon d'Or, Ballon d'Or. Oh. Well, hold on, it's still pretty exciting. You see, the Ballon d'Or, which means Golden Ball, kicked off all the way back in 1956. It is widely regarded as the highest honour a football player can receive. The Women's Award was launched in 2018. And while Sam Kerr has been nominated every single year and finished in the top 10 in each vote, coming in third over the last two years, this year is even more special because it's Hayley Rasso's first time up for the award and the first time that two Aussies have made the list in the same year. The duo are among 30 players shortlisted for the award, and their biggest competition is set to be Spain's Aitana Bonmati, who was named the best player in the World Cup. Nominations are also in for the men, including Erling Haaland and seven-time winner Lionel Messi, with many expecting that's about to become eight-time winner. We're gonna have to wait until October 30 to know who comes out on top, but with these two giving it their all for Australia in the World Cup, I think it's safe to say they've already won the hearts of the nation. Earth has sweltered through the hottest Northern Hemisphere summer ever recorded. The World Meteorological Organization says last month was the hottest August on record. That means it's the third month in a row we've seen records like this, following the hottest ever June and July. The United Nations says it's a huge concern, and it's again called on world leaders to work towards solutions and fast. Students from a local agricultural school in South Australia are teaching other kids all about farm animals at the Royal Adelaide show. Justina went along to check it out. On a beautiful spring morning, what better day to come to the show? Luckily we're going inside today. The Royal Adelaide show has been running for 181 years and it's not just about rides and show bags, it's a reminder of the big part agriculture plays in Australia. That's why I'm here at the Learning Centre which is all run by students from a local agricultural school. Let's check it out. The Learning Centre is all about looking, touching and listening and learning a bit about agriculture and animals. Agriculture is huge in Australia, it's very big for our economy and so it's just really important to keep feeding our country and feeding people all over the world. Yep, these students are helping young kids get close and personal with animals so they can learn all about them, like where wool comes from. How long have you been coming to the show for? No comment. And how much milk a cow makes? Our jersey is making about 36 litres a day and our Holstein's making about 40 litres so as you can imagine that's a lot of bottles of milk. <laughs> Not to mention how many eggs chickens lay. This is Sneezy Palmy. <laughs> They're named after uh, Snow the White. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. She will produce a bit under 300 eggs a year. Wow. And let's not forget our future sheep herders. Are what these type of dog? Are border collies. Yeah. They're seven weeks old at the moment. Border collies are used mainly in the sheep industry. With the right training, they can herd up a, a lot of sheep in one go. <laughs> That's all from us, but I think I'm going to stay here with the baby animals. Now you've heard of horses and you've heard of archery, but you've probably never heard of horse archery. Well, it's a sport that wouldn't look out of place on a medieval battlefield, where competitors ride horses and use their bows and arrows to shoot at targets up to 50 metres away. And four Aussies are saddling up for the World Championships in Mongolia this month. Pretty epic, really, like, <laughs> big sense of excitement. I'm sort of honoured as well. The aim of the game is precision, speed, good form, and of course, scoring that elusive bullseye. This World Champs is the first international comp in five years because of COVID. It'll feature more than 50 competitors from 20 different countries, and our Aussie archers reckon it's a good opportunity to test out their skills against the rest of the world. I know I do all right in Australia, but um, it's a completely different ball game. Mongolians basically invented the sport. The fact that we're able to start to share this sport with people around the place is really special and really important to me. That's all from us today. See you tomorrow. Bye.